Yeah, that reminds me of me 50 game banner. The week before Basti played and it was 50 great games and mine was just Nathan Grimer 50 games. So <laughs> I've never done things too fancy, but obviously everyone knows why I'm here and I deliberately wanted to ask uh, any staff that wanted to come in because, uh, yeah, I guess when you finish up it's, good, it's quite difficult and I'll put me sunnies on a sec, so I'll probably tear up. But no, um, it's weird, like, sort of embarrassing. Glenn Archer's in the room, 300 game legend and... You don't want to over, I guess, overstate your career, but I think for me, the bloke I was when I came here, compared to now, is probably the big. I used to laugh at Ed Lower when he cried. <laughs> 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 um, so I'll put these on for a second, boys. No, but the guy I was eight years ago. Um, I often say that the I didn't let football change me, but oh, if I know where I'd be without it, so that's probably the hard part. Um, everyone in here has probably um, had a big impact on my life, so thank you. I was going to invite Jacinta in, but um, she's my family now, and I guess for eight years this joint has been. I ducked off over to Adelaide, and um, I played in the Premiership there, and um, do yourself a favour, boys, and, and play in one of them, because that's singly-handedly the best day of my life by a mile. Um, irrespective of what's happened here, but we're on a, a bit of a party for about four days after and uh, I get a phone call from Neville Stibbard and um, I guess at the time, yeah, as you do, I thought it was one of the boys stitching me up, so I pretty much told Nev, F off Nev, I'm partying and uh, the club called me and said you might want to ring him back and, and just, um, you know, I couldn't believe what was happening. My dream since I was a kid was to play AFL, I was 22. Um, and didn't think I'd ever be good enough and uh, I just still can't believe Neville and I guess I think Bryce had just come on board there I don't know if I did any background searches back then but um, yeah I ended up here and it's just been it's just been the best eight years um, it didn't start well I did my knee in the first couple of weeks and I'll never forget Drewy come out of his way with Nicole and come and sat with me in hospital um, I was pretty scared and I had a facade like I was a legend but I was pretty scared in the big city and come and sat with me and that's something I remember um, for him doing that. I had never played a game and fast forward 12 months later and I played my first game with Bridey. Um, a couple of scared boys in the rooms down there that day. You know, when my parents gave us our jumpers I think we were both nearly tearing up. It was um, different journeys, you're a young kid and I just think that like, those are the moments that you'll probably miss. And uh, one thing I always loved about Lades, he was hard but he was really fair at the end of the year. We used to do our skim files, which you do now. I went in and, um, and Dean got the book and I think I was, my best for the year with PB was 45 and I got a lenience for 55 and, and late as he did, I don't remember the boys, he used to be that dramatic when he was drawing on the board and that just pretty much like start swiping it out like there was no paper left and it was like, mate, if you don't come back under your PB, you won't be here next year. And I was just went and got a bit of cartilage taken out of my knee um, I didn't eat for about the next six weeks <laughs> and I come back and they were under and they put me on the senior list so it was, um, it was definitely worth it. I just look around at everyone and it's weird like I was saying to Brad that when I lost H and I didn't lose H, he's still alive. <laughs> 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 Sorry, <laughs> when I lost my teammates from this particular club as a H Keys, um, Levi, you think it's going to be easier to leave, but it just shows you that it's not the, your mates because they're going to be there forever. It's, it's probably guys, and you know who you are, that, that, I'll, that I'll miss the most. Um, I think of funnier, to fun times, like, and I'm sure young players do it, when you get your first drink cards at CQ. F***ing <laughs> <laughs> strutting up those stairs, boys. <laughs> <laughs> I was on the rookie list. I would never leave H's side because I knew everyone knew who he was, and if I stood on my tippy toes, chicks thought I played as well. So. Uh, <laughs> I progressed to a Holden Astra. That's my sister's old one, and I remember I was playing at the Adiad one day, and there's this beautiful Mercedes ML four-wheel drive in front of me, and as I'm pulling in, I sort of glance and realise it's Nick Rewalt, and um, I'm playing on him that day, I'm thinking, f*** if he sees me in this car. <laughs> <laughs> a psychological foot, so I'm trying to, a bit like when Brad wants to ask a question, I'm slinking down that low, <laughs> ducking into me, into me chair and just thinking. I'm trying not to make it about footy, because in realistically, it wasn't the best career. Um, I walked around like a 200 gamer, but you know, I never felt comfortable playing AFL footy, never thought I was good enough, but from the minute I played my first game, I never ever wanted to play another VFL game. And if you're sitting here and you're in the reserves, 
probably f***ing ask yourself why, because that. Like, I know you're at different stages of your careers and, and development, but I don't know. anyway, that's, if I was injured, I just wanted to get back and play every time, and because um, you just don't know how many more you got. And I went to the pub on the weekend to watch your boys play, and I was sitting beside some North supporters, and it was f like yeah, just what they're saying about us and stuff, and it's still us for me, but yeah, like I just don't you know, like. I don't want to become your coach and say anything too motivating, but you know, like it's a footy club and we represent that. And like I said, playing at Central Districts was the best day of my life, and I still talk to five or six of those boys weekly that I played in the Premiership with. And um, you know, it's just a footy club at the end of the day. Like we're not anything more than that, and just probably harden up a little bit and, and take some real care in why we're here. Brad said to me, if, if you leave the club and don't have a house, you know, I've failed you. Nothing to do with footy. I've got a pool, six bedrooms, and f <laughs> <laughs> so, I've got a million dollar mortgage, but f <laughs> probably gold is anyone that could afford it, but um, you can't park a RAV4 in that driveway. No. <laughs> but um, just uh, enjoy all your. Yeah, all the and just enjoy enjoy your time here because whether you go on and be Glenn Archer or Boomer Harvey or you know Timmy McGuinness who give his all and, and couldn't make it, it's gonna be like the best best time of your life. And I don't know how to do a resume up, but that's the next thing for me. And jobs don't pay the same out there. But um, yeah, I'm a better person for for everything everyone's done. I wish I could have got to 100 games and got my name on the locker, but I played 86 more than I ever thought I would. So I just. Um, yeah, thanks everyone. I just want to make sure I haven't missed anyone. But yeah, just thanks everyone for, for making it the best, best time of my life. So thank you.